This is a 1957 Triumph TR3 with less than 45,000 original miles and owned by the original owners for 40 years. The best part is that this car is selling with no reserve on Bring a Trailer from Casio Motors. This 1957 Triumph TR3 was delivered new to British Continental Motors Inc. in Boston, Massachusetts on March 10, 1957. It was purchased on March 27, 1957 for $2,779.50 where it remained with its original owners, Henry Fisher and his wife, for 40 years and 42,164 miles. They even went so far as to build a dedicated garage for the car. The exterior is finished in its factory correct pearl white, courtesy of a full repaint in 1998. This Roadster features a black convertible top that snaps on and off, side curtains, and a black tonneau cover. Most notable on the exterior is the early TR3 smallmouth grille, generally preferred by collectors, along with the optional 48-spoke 15-inch knockoff wire wheels wrapped in Veretastein Sprint Classic tires. In the back, below the trunk, is a coach key removable panel for access to the spare tire. The original leather interior is finished in red with cream piping with two adjustable bucket seats. The passenger seat folds forward for access to the optional back seat, and up front is a 17-inch three-spoke steering wheel with an adjustable steering column. The dash features Jaeger instrumentation with a 5-inch tachometer and 5-inch speedometer, along with trip, fuel, water temperature, ammeter, and oil pressure gauges, all with indirect instrument lighting. To the right of the gauges are buttons for the starter, choke, windshield wipers, side headlights, and fresh air ventilator. Additional interior features include a locking glove box, optioned heater, and mechanical handbrake. The Triumph TR3 utilizes a factory fully rust-proofed rigid structure frame with channel steel pressings braced by a cruciform member. Up front is an independent suspension with unequal length double wishbones, coil springs, and telescopic dampers. The rear features a live rear axle with semi-elliptical leaf springs. The TR3 benefits from a mid-year change in 1956 to provide stopping power from Girling hydraulic front disc brakes and rear drum brakes, making the TR3 the first mass-produced British car with disc brakes standard in the front. Under the hood, accessed via coach key and two hood pins, is a 1991cc inline-4 overhead valve engine with twin SUH6 carburetors producing 100 brake horsepower at 5,000 RPM. The straight four is paired with a four-speed manual transmission with a floor-mounted shifter featuring positive synchro mesh on the second, third, and fourth forward gears. The 1957 TR3 has a curb weight of 2,128 pounds and achieves 0 to 60 in 10.8 seconds, a quarter mile in 18 seconds, and a tested top speed of 105.3 miles per hour per the British magazine The Motor, although Triumph states gearing should allow for a top speed of 110 miles per hour. Included in the sale are two binders of paperwork and photos, including photos from the original owners in 1957, the original bill of sale, the Triumph Sports Car Instruction Book, manuals, new old stock spare parts, coach key, toolkit, jack, and hand crank starter. This tier 3 has received a recent oil change, headlight bulb replacement, and full inspection in preparation for the sale.